Okay. So that was that. Uh. What now? You know, I want to come over here. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to come over here because this is the last assassination contract as far as I'm aware because everything else is gold. Everything other than the diving points, of course. Alright, so let's do that. Let's see what I unlock for that. I feel like I'm really zoomed in on this guy. What's... Like I'm really close. Why am I so close to the dude? Animale? Don't I need one of you? What do I need? Black Jaguar pelt. I need... According to me, I needed two of those. According to my notes that I haven't been keeping up with. Let me say that. Because it says I still need White Whale, and I know I finished that. <clears throat> Hold on. So I just got a Black Jaguar pelt, right? So let's... Let me look at my crafting list real quick. I'm sorry. Uh, upgrades. No, that's Edward upgrades. No, crafting is what I want. Black Jaguar needed for the rope dart pouch one, which I haven't even unlocked. Everything else has been done. Okay. Because I needed the, the white whales for this, and I did get that. So I need one black jaguar pelt. Okay, not so bad. Yeah, see, I cannot see. Why is the camera so close to him? That's not right. Well, let's hope when I get on the ship it'll reset that. Nope. This is super awkward. I also feel like the audio is a little off. Why are you so... Bro. Why is the camera so close to you? Captain has the helm. Even this feels a little too close. I mean, it's not as bad. Close down! Catch some wind! Let's get out of here. Oh, that's better. All right. I thought I had that place selected, by the way. Apparently not. Back we go! From whence we came! Am I the only one that thinks this audio seems really loud? Yeah, see, I'll... that was not at 10, I don't think. I don't know what the deal is. Music was all the way up, because that's the shanties. Voice is all the way up. I'm going to turn that down to 8. Reload! Won't miss next time. 
I still feel like the camera's way too close to him. Well, that sucks. Be careful, Captain! Our crew's being decimated! Uh, I wouldn't call four people decimated. Fresh made for our soup, but a spare cast away. Huge swell! Larboard! This just feels way too close up. Larboard, sir. Seems we got a survivor. Sorry, I just realized I needed that. This is a big storm if I've traveled like two and a half kilometers and I'm still in it. Also, I didn't realize these islands were so close together. Oh, hey, I can do this now. Ha ha ha. Just kidding. The game is being weird. Well, I tell you what, if I get off of the ship here and it's uh, it's still being weird with the zoom levels, I'm going to exit the Animus and re-enter. See what that does. So the audio's being weird and the zoom levels are weird and the lack of shanties is weird.
camera's being wonky. It's like bouncing a little. I don't know what's going on. Shorten sail! Get off the squad! Yeah, see, clutch. zoom is still way too. You need to vanish, friend. No, I'm good actually. Now that I think about it. Uh, all right, hold up. Let's just do this right here. Uh, quit. Exit Animus. I don't know what's going on. Somebody said if I open a map here, I can see stuff. I can. Are these computers I can I can hack that I have not yet hacked? Because if they are, awesome. Maybe there's somebody sitting here is the problem. Oh, there's not. Excellent! Let's do this! It's the exact same thing I just did. Awesome. Surrogate Initiative, Test Session 32, January 11th, 1981. Host Eileen Bach, DNA sample SB1970. Miriam? Miriam, is that you? Are you in here? Bartle! Oh, thank God you're safe. You've been very sick. Bartle, how did they find you? Oh, Jesus. What would they do to you? Has they hurt you at all? I told them nothing. All they do every day is ask about you and that artifact. But I didn't tell them anything. Nothing. I know you didn't, Miriam. But how are you? You aren't hurt. Not badly, no. I'm fine. Good. We need to get the message out to Oscar. Somehow. We, we need to tell him where... Very interesting footage, Eileen. This is Germany, you said, World War II? Most of the memories I've been able to access come from a period where Miriam was imprisoned by Nazis in Cologne. Miriam. Is she still alive? No, she was my husband's mo My ex-husband's mother. She passed away about five years ago. Well, she was spirited. An impressive lady. Definitely. And the man, Bartle. He made reference to an artifact. Any idea what that is? My team is looking into that, but it's not our first priority. We still need... It is now. Really? You must have other recordings of this woman. Are there any other mentions of this artifact I should know about? Half a dozen or so, yes. What's this about? You have questions. I understand that. I don't have answers for you. Not right now, but I do have money. And if you get me those recordings and bring me any other artifact references you find... Then I will triple your operating budget for as long as I can. Triple my budget? My God, what is this? 9 a.m. Monday morning, my office. We have a lot to discuss. But Lillian, I don't... Have a good weekend, Mrs. Bach. Fantastic work. Hello, this is Carl. Hi, it's Eileen. Hey, how are you? Good. Busy. Cold. The winter's been terrible. Ah, uh, Seamus won't like that. The weather's been mild out here. Well, he's only coming for a month. He'll live. And I'll be so busy, he won't have to worry about his mother bothering him. Ah. Uh, still working 12-hour days? I should move a bed into my lab. Look, if you're too busy, Seamus can stay with me. No, no. I want to see him. We'll have fun. You're not too busy to be a mom and a genius. Of course not. His flight lands at... 8.15 p.m. tomorrow night. You'll be there? Of course. 8.15. P.m. Let him know you'll be there. Thanks, Carl. I need to run. I'm sorry. Take care. You too. Uh, 
Ah, Eileen. Didn't see you come in. I'm not interrupting. No, it's fine. The subject is unconscious. He's traipsing around 18th century New Orleans right now. In the memories of a woman. That must feel odd. How long has he been under? 83 minutes. Whoa. It's average. What can I do for you? I just wanted to... to thank you for sending Lillian to see me. She came away very impressed. There. You see? All these bureaucrats need is a little glimpse of our secrets every so often. They like to feel like they're... still in charge. Lillian is most definitely in charge. She just tripled my budget. Tripled? Christ, Eileen. You must have discovered who killed Kennedy. <laughs> well, she heard something on one of my tapes that interested her. Something about an artifact. Very vague, but it was enough. An artifact? What sort of artifact? Jesus, get him out of there! Get him out! Oh my god. It'll kill him! He's not decoupled! He's having a fucking seizure! Power down! Now! Heart rate 170! Power down! Now! Eileen, Warren here. I was all ready to apologize for the late call, but you seem to be away. Maybe with your son. Uh, listen, since the unfortunate incident with Subject One, there's been a lot of dire talk around the office about my Animus project, about shutting it down, about it being unsafe. Typical top brass bullshit. And if they shut me down, then your surrogate initiative goes away, too. I'm sure you're already well aware of that. Well, let me be the first to reassure you. This will not happen. I will not let them take this from me. From us. I will not let one death of an undiagnosed epileptic, I should add. I will not let this destroy the decades of incredible research done by our predecessors. And the five years I've spent perfecting the Animus. There's still more work to be done and countless rewards to be reaped. So I wanted you to be the first to know. I have decided to volunteer myself as my second subject. I am convinced that the Animus is perfectly safe, provided I stay within the boundaries of my own ancestral bloodline. Next week I plan to prove this by staying a full four hours in the Animus. I would be grateful if you and your team would monitor my progress. And after this necessary but ridiculous proof of concept, I give you my word that I will work closely with you to solve your outstanding problems. Your surrogate initiative is a bold idea, and I do believe it is the future of the Animus Project. But while we have the Animus itself, I do not want to waste precious opportunities to prove its safety. I'll see you in the office on Monday. Goodbye. That's weird. Whoops. How do I shrink that? I don't want it so big. Oh, there we go. You didn't get that. Have you ever actually met this guy, John, the one down in IT? Yeah, I think so. He's super arrogant. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? That's all he ever says when I have a problem. <laughs> exactly. Well, half the time that fixes your problem, doesn't it? So shut up. Actually, it looks like there's a dude sitting at this one. Yeah. Oh no, it's pointing me over here. Oh, it's this guy's. Bro, get off of your computer. Dude. Your calves must be killing you, man. You're just supporting yourself with one arm on your chair? I'm getting the sneaking suspicion you're not actually supposed to be there, because it'll let me hack your computer while you're sitting at it. Oh, whatever, let's do it. This'll be fun. Uh... Okay.
Hmm. There we go. Whoa, holy crap, that's quick. Oh, that's better.
Nothing ever goes wrong in this game. Okay. That dude, man. Ahaha! Success! Oh, it's Frogger. I need to start over here so I can do... I am terrible at this. I never liked Frogger, honestly. Oh, you douche. Jeez. That one, man. Our initial reports gave us hope that Enzio Auditori would serve as an ideal candidate for future Abstergo projects. His charisma, sexual magnetism, and wry humor gave him all the qualities of a leading man. However, his corruption by the Assassin Order robbed him of these qualities as he fell deeper and deeper into a spiral of revenge. Enzio was frequently known to articulate a passive acceptance of evil. He was also a man of ugly contradictions, one who preached free thought, yet traveled well beyond his home country to proselytize his corrupted creed, just as he's doing here with this impressionable Chinese girl. Notice, too, that in his gestures and bearing, there is still something of the old lecher in him. Enzio's entire personality is built around pure demagoguery, claiming his philosophy is about love when violence and coercion are his primary means of tackling problems. We have therefore come to the conclusion that Enzio Auditori da Firenze would be a risky character to develop. Really? Interesting. He is probably the vast majority of people's favorite character. Looks like I can hit up that computer. Let's run downstairs real quick and see if I can. Uh, lobby. It's deselected my selection again. I don't get it. Don't mind me, I'm just working on this computer here that I can barely reach. <laughs> 